All right. So let's check out the ongoing under 23 AFCON in Morocco. We're going to be watching host Morocco take on Ghana in their second match of the group. VAR influence in this match was crazy. Not that bad, though, to be honest. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And we start with Morocco winning a corner kick early in the game, six minutes of the match. And almost right away, they take the corner kick. Some nice passing. It gets to Amir Richardson. He gets it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. And at that moment, it looked like the score was Morocco 1. Ghana zero as you see just loops it. his teammate try to steal the goal man his teammate really try to steal the goal right there but at the end of the day the goal was given to Amir Richardson as you see right here the celebration it took him a while to give the goal to be honest but in the end the goal was given to Morocco and the score won zero and we move next up you got Ghana on the ball Emmanuel Yebois with this nice attempt real unlucky crashes into the upright the inside of the upright but this right here had a little bit more luck some nice combination and that man it's my siberi gets it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net but but the linesman had his flag up and you see nice touch right here by Yanis beg Raoui. And the nice ball over the goalkeeper into the back of the net by Ismail Siberi. And that's what looked like 2-0 until the linesman had his flag up. Goal cancel and VAR is cross-checking. And what they find out is that it was a goal. Referee points to the center spot. And that made the score. Morocco 2, Ghana 0. As you see excitement, the fans are happy. They came to see the home team, and this definitely an onside right here. And a beautiful finish by Ismail Saibiri. And you got this right here, a good opportunity. Really should be 3-0. Yanis Begraoui gets it all wrong. As you see, Amir Richardson gets to the ball. The nice ball across to him, and he just had one job, put the ball in the net. And he got that wrong. Nice hustle right there by Amir Richardson to get to the ball. And you see the nice passing by Morocco. His mouth Siberi laid it on the plate. But the man couldn't take it. But he took this one, though. Check this out. Same two players. Even better combination. The goal by Yanis Begraoui. The assist is Mal Siberi. And that's just beautiful football. The Moroccan FA president. Man, you're doing a good job. Check this out. Beautiful football. He had every right to even go for goal. Check the flick out. He could have shot it right there, but he passed it back. And they're just playing a video game at this moment. Just a beautiful touch right there. Unselfish. Unselfish. I would love to play with a player like that. The players I play with, they don't never pass me the ball. Maybe because I can't play. But either way it goes, you got this right here. The third goal of the match, and it was for Ghana. Salim Adams finds the back of the net after a deflection falls in his path. He kind of got lucky with a deflection also, and that made the score. Morocco 3, Ghana 1. Isahaku Fatawu with the first shot deflected. It falls in Salim Adams' path, and he gets it past the goalkeeper. As you see, the first deflection, and this right here also deflection into the back of the net. This time, you got your boy trying to keep the ball in play. It eventually gets to Fatawu, who takes a long distance strike. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Nice strike right there. Gets the ball past the goalkeeper. And it looked like the score was Morocco 3, Ghana 2. Gets it on his lefty and strikes it. And leaves the goalkeeper no chance with that situation. As you see one more again. Just puts it on there. Smacks it. And the goalkeeper stood chanceless. And that right there is a nice finish. But VAR called the referee to come check some stuff out. And as you see on the replay right here, it definitely looked like Yeboah did not keep the ball in play. And that was the real moment of contention. The referee checked it out, came back with his decision pretty quickly. And it was no goal throw in Morocco. And one more again, let's look at that shot. Nice strike right there. Next, you got Ghana with a free kick. Ball sent into the box. They win the first one. And Fatawa with the second but cannot keep it on target. Next, we move to the second half and almost right away, an uh, opportunity gift wrap for Morocco. 
slammed into the back of the net. And it's that man, Abde is Alzui getting the ball in. And you see the nice run right here by Ismail Saberi getting past the man, getting the shot off. And that right there, just a poor touch. He tried to clear it, just got it all the way wrong. And right there, he was punished by the Barcelona man who slams it into the back of the net and made the score. Morocco 4, Ghana 1. And that's a nice one right there. Free kick Ghana and forces the goalkeeper into a save. And that's Ernest Nuama with the strike. Nice looking strike. Definitely was going to creep in. But better goalkeeping right there. Corner kick Ghana. Ball headed out. And you got this situation right here. Probably a poor header. And the man gets to it. Abde Azalzui gets it to his man. One on one with the goalkeeper. Slots it into a spot. And that's Giannis Begraoui getting the ball in. And that made the score. Morocco 5. Ghana 1. And you see the excitement right there. The ball was headed out. And this right here. Just the fact that he couldn't control that got him in a whole bunch of trouble. The chase was on. The pass was just on time. Perfectly passed. And the finish. The finish was clinical. Gets the ball past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. 5-1 the score. And you got Ghana still trying to make something happen. And it's in the box. The ball cleared out. Not far enough. His teammate on it. The shot. Blocked away, Ennis plays it short, the shot comes in, and an easy punch away by the goalkeeper, you still got Ghana on it, trying to create something, the shot comes in and forces the goalkeeper into a save, that's a good opportunity right there, nicely carved out, but the goalkeeper did a good job, it was kind of close to him, this time you got Morocco on the way, ball put into the box, goalkeeper pushes it away, and he goes on to make some nice saves right here, before this one right here, Zakaria Labib getting the ball into the back of the net. And for all he knew, the score was six goals to one in favor of Morocco. Everybody celebrating, everybody happy. The goalkeeper did a good job. Ibrahim Danlad had none to be ashamed of right there. Made two great saves. As you see right here, ball put into the box. And the deflection, he pushes it away. The shot, the save right there. And point blank, that's a world-class save right there. Beautiful save. But at the end of the day, Zakaria Labib gets the ball into the back of the net. Nice save. But this right here just got him undone. And they thought the score was 6-1 right there. Everybody celebrating everything. Everybody happy. Some fans were heading out early to beat traffic, but VAR still had some work to do. The goal had to be checked, and you see on the replay right here, definitely an offside as you see the man who ended up getting the ball. The shot comes in, and he was offside, so once he got it, that's offside. Beautiful save nonetheless by the goalkeeper, and the ball in the back of the net did not count. 5-1 the score and you got this moment right here practically the last moment of the match and my man kind of got selfish right there in that situation as you see Labib trying to get the goal he missed on the far post but the pass was not made they went off the goalkeeper into the player and out for a goal kick and that was basically the last touch of the match match ended 5-1 in favor of Morocco please don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all for watching Peace.